Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and today I'm going to make a home decor sign using their Aiden frame, which is magnetic and reusable, with June's Club Couture transfer named Summertime. How appropriate is that? I love this. Now, um, if you're not familiar with what Chalk Couture's Club Couture is, I will have a link posted down below so you can read about it. And if you'd like to join and sign up, you can also sign up through that link. I would greatly appreciate it if you did. That way I do earn my Samal commissions. However, I do want to let you know, within the United States, it is $21.99. You get an exclusive size B transfer, which means it's an 8.5 by 11. This is only for Chalk Couture, Club Couture subscribers, and designers. You'll get three coordinating colored paste packets that Chalk Couture chose to go with that design. Plus, if you are a new subscriber, they will also send you a mini squeegee. Now, what I will do as a designer of Chalk Couture, and it's a way to say thank you for signing up and joining Club Couture through that link I have posted down below in the description box. I will send you three of the coordinate, or not three of the coordinate, three of the color paste, uh, paste, palette paste trays. So that way, these are plastic, they're washable, you can reuse them. That way, when you re receive your club, you can go ahead and put your paste in these. But you need to sign up through that link through May Crafty Talking Creations to join through uh, Club Couture. Now, um, the colors that you will be receiving with this transfer is Guava, Tide, and Shimmer Harvest. Now, I have Tide, but I think it's a little dark to go on the surface, so I'm gonna switch it out for Couture Teal. I do not have Guava, so I'm gonna switch it out for Papaya. I'm gonna use Papaya instead. And then I have the Shimmer Harvest, so I will be using that. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you are a return viewer, thank you so much for returning. And if you are familiar with the process, then you can fast forward till I get to the project. Um, I do have quite a few new viewers, so if you're not familiar with Chalk Tour, I try to give as much detail as possible and go through, go through the steps so that way you understand how this works. Now, your transfer will come in a plastic sleeve. You can keep this for storage. It also has care instructions on here. All right, keep that. Your transfer also comes on what is called a backer sheet. Now, I've written on the back of it with a Sharpie marker. That way I know what the design is and which direction to place, um, place my transfer back on there. And this is your backer sheet, so you want to keep that. Now, this is what is called a fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, don't worry about it. You can use a towel, you can use a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a piece of fabric, something that is going to take some of the stickiness off your transfer. Now, I have pre-fuzzed this to save some time because sometimes you, you need to fuzz it several, I mean several times. It could be up to 10, maybe 30 times, depending on what surface you're going to put it on. See, they're sticky. These are reusable. Chalk Couture states you can re reuse these anywhere from 8 to 12 times. So, like I said, I'm doing a home decor project using their Aiden frame, which is magnetic and reusable. That surface is pretty smooth, so I need to make sure this is fuzzed very well. Because if you do not fuzz and use it straight off the back of sheet onto a very smooth surface like glass or um, like their Aiden frame, it could stick so well to where you could put when you go to peel it up to display, you know, show your design, you could stretch and distort your silk screen. That is silk screen in there. And they are also reusable. Let's say you want to make this, make a sign for yourself, and you might make one for a gift, or you may want to just use the saying on a different uh, project, or you might want to use the bike on a different project. You are able to do that. That is one of the things I love about Chalk Couture. You are in control of how you want your art to look and what kind of projects and you would like to make with them. So I'm just going to fuzz this a couple more times just to show you the process. Now this is their Aiden frame. This is a 9 by 12 surface. It is magnetic and it is reusable. So if you're able to splurge and get this, please do. Um, I will have an edible shopping cart link with all the items that I am using from Chalk Couture that do not come with the club. So if you like to get those, and it is editable, so if you want to get a different color paste, you could do that. If you want to add on some other things, you can do that. 
I will have that also posted down below. Now, I eyeball things for the most part. You can measure if you like to make sure things are symmetrical. You are welcome to do that. I'm just trying to give you some ideas and show you how to use Chalk Couture um, with their club. So I have this on here. I think it looks pretty, pretty even to me. And I'm just going to smooth this over with my hands. And why you do that is because if you have any little lint fuzzies or you have any um, air pockets or anything like that that are by the silk screening, you can feel that. And that way, if you want to go ahead and get and pick them off, you can. There's a little spot there. Okay. So that's pretty much what I do is I just smooth this over. That way I know I have got good contact with my my uh, my surface here. And if you want, you can take your mini squeegee and go over it to try to make sure that uh, you don't have any little air bubbles or anything in there. You can do that also. Okay. I think there's a little one here by my S. Okay, I think it's on there pretty good. Now, um, like I said, I'm switching out my colors here. So I'm going to be using the papaya and the shimmer harvest here. Now I'm using I'm going to be using three different squeegees for each color. But if you just get your one, these are reusable. You can just wipe it off with a, a damp towel or a paper towel and use it for your next color. All right. And these are what your paste packets look like. All right. Now, before you open them up, make sure that you knead them very well. And what I used to do is cut it from the top. What I do is I kind of move some of the paste down. I cut from the bottom. And why I do that is that way you'll have some paste left over. And uh, so that way, if you like the color, you know what the color is. And then if you want to order a jar of it, if it or if it's available in a, a paste packet, then you can just reorder it if you would like to do that, if you really like that color. All right. So I'm going to do orange or my papaya first. And I'm going to alternate it. Now, if you want it to, you can get some white paste if you want to do this all in white, or if you want to do this on a... Um, a different color background and you want to maybe do black or you want to switch out some other colors, you can do that. Like I said, I will, that uh, shopping cart link is editable. So all you need to do is just apply your paste generously to your, your, uh, your design, your transfer here. alternating this you could do this all the same one color doing one color it goes much quicker that is for sure but these are some beautiful colors I don't have guava but I like I like pop um, the uh, papaya I think that would that's nice it's kind of the the retro colors that are kind of going on right now this is pretty cool so that's why I switched out instead of the guava All right, now that I have that on there, I'm going to scrape off that excess. Now for you, with your paste tray, you just want to put it on the side. Now I'm going back over this and scraping off any excess that we have good even coverage. Now I have an extra plate here, so I'm just going to set my squeegee on there. Now I'm going to go into the Shimmer Harvest. And do this. Gives a little sparkle. Sorry, I'm not too 
chitty chatty right now. Usually I talk during this, but I, I think I'm just kind of concentrating and focusing, <laughs> making sure I'm not uh, putting pace where I shouldn't be putting it or don't want it. I, let me put it that way. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scrape off the excess. Now, if at any point you like this project or you like this idea, you know, give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's scrape that off. I'm going to lay that down. And I'm going to do the bike in couture teal instead of the tide. Now, I'm just doing part of this because I'm going to do a peel, what is called a peel and lift method because I don't want this to dry before I, um, I finish the rest of my design. So I'm going to peel it up. I'll show that to you in a second. All right, now I'm going to scrape off the excess here and lay that back down. And what I do is I stir at the corners and then you slowly peel it up that way, if you did miss a spot, you can lay it down and just touch it up. But I don't want this drying before I peel it up because what happens is that paste will stay in the uh, silk screen and then it, uh, then it will peel it up from your surface and you don't want that. And then all you do is there's any little areas that you may have pulled up when you're doing that, you just use your finger and just smooth it over. Now I'm going to do Summertime and the Couture Teal. Now you could do, like I said, you could do this all one color if you would like to. But I'm going to do this in the blue. I think this is going to look really nice on this uh, black background. All right, I'm going to scrape off my excess here. And then I'm going to go back into my papaya, and I'm going to do the words and the and the papaya to try to bring some of the colors down to the bottom, but you don't have to do that. You could do it all, all the same color or whatever color combination you can, however you would like. I said that is one of the things I like about Chalk Couture. You are in control of how you want your art and your projects to look like. You know, as in with the color combinations. All right, I'm done with that. Now I'm going to go back into the Shimmer Harvest. I'm going to do Living is Easy. I'm going to do all that in the Shimmer Harvest. All right, now I'm going to go through it and I'm going to scrape off the excess. Make sure I've got good even coverage. I like how that looks. All right, now it's time for the peel and reveal of all the rest of it. I like it, like it, like it. I like those colors. I like the ones that they picked with the kit, but I um, not with the kit, but to go with the uh, the transfer. But I do not have a light surface that they offer for sale at the moment that will fit this transfer. So, all right, I'm getting my caps back on. All right, I have an extra towel over here that I laid my transfer on. But as soon as you're done with your project, you should take it to the sink and clean it with some water. And I 
I do have other videos on how to clean a transfer. Um, I don't have it at the sink. That's a whole nother setup. But I do have it where, you know, I'll show you how to to clean it. Again, you know, like a, a little, little pan of water. Now, you can let this air dry if you'd like to. I'm going to use my little drying tool here to kind of speed things along. So that way you can see how it looks when it's completely dry. Right. Oops. Well, that was not dry, but I... So I don't know that I got a little blue down there. But do I hope you like this project. Um, give you an idea of the kind of color combinations. If you want to use the couture teal instead of the tide, you could do that. If you didn't want to use the guava, you like uh, the papaya, you could do that also. Or you could just do it all white. You could do it all in one color. It is totally up to you. And how you would like to do that. Yeah, it looks really nice. I think even couture, couture coral would look nice. Okay, I think that is good and dry. All right. And then you can embellish this with a bow if you would like to. It's totally up to you. I do. I like how this turned out. I hope you enjoyed this project, and um, you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.